Hello everyone. I'm Kevin Kupchinski, planetarium and STEM educator at the Springfield Science Museum. We hope you come to visit the museum sometime soon and we especially look forward to seeing you in our planetarium when it reopens. Meanwhile, please enjoy this astronomy video. You may have heard someone say that stars are just like our sun, only very far away. Well, that's only partly right. They're very far away. But most of them are not like our sun. All stars, including our sun, are giant balls of gas turning one kind of gas into another one. They transform hydrogen into helium by nuclear fusion. However, stars come in a great variety of sizes and temperatures. It's easy to measure the brightness and color of a star. The color comes from the temperature of the star, so once we know what color the star is, we know its temperature. You may have heard of, and maybe even seen, something that is red hot. The reason why it's red is that it's gotten to a certain temperature. People who work with metal sometimes see metal that turns white hot and even blue hot. These temperatures are much hotter than red hot. Astronomers determine the color of a star by breaking up its light into a spectrum. You may know the spectrum of our sun. We call it a rainbow. So astronomers are basically making rainbows out of light from a star and measuring which color is the strongest. Here are some samples of spectra from different stars. You can see that different stars are stronger in different colors. A couple of astronomers named Hertzsprung and Russell wondered what would happen if they took the measurements of the color and brightness of a lot of stars and plotted those results on a graph. Now, if there was no relationship between the color and the brightness, the stars would be scattered all over the graph. Instead, they found the pattern we see here. This graph is now known as the Hertzsprung-Russell, or HR, diagram. Looking at the graph, we see that the combination of brightness and color puts stars into three major groups. The biggest group starts at the upper left of the chart and goes down across the diagonal to the lower right. This is called the main sequence. It is where most stars are in the picture. We also see these other areas, one that is labeled supergiants and another labeled white dwarfs, and a little bit of a bump out of the main sequence called the giants. What's going on here? Stars in the main sequence are turning hydrogen into helium. The red stars are not so big, and so they don't get very hot, whereas the blue stars are very big and very much hotter than our sun. We see the position of our sun in this diagram pretty much in the middle of the chart. It is medium brightness, medium temperature, and yellow. Giants and supergiants have used up just about all of their hydrogen. They use helium in other elements, but they are not as hot when they do this, so they become cooler in temperature, which means they are redder. When they get to this stage, they also expand in size. After the giant star has used up everything it can, it explodes. The supergiant stars explode in a massive explosion called a supernova. After the giant stars explode, there's just a little bit of the star left over that's medium hot. These are the white dwarfs. For supergiants, there is nothing left over except a black hole or a neutron star. So now you see that stars come in quite a variety of size, brightness, and temperature. The different temperature gives them different colors. Unfortunately, it is hard for us to see these colors when we go outside to look at the night sky. You have to be in a very dark place, and usually only the red colors show up a little. Perhaps the next time you go out and look at the stars, you remember this video today as you enjoy the beautiful night sky. I hope you get a chance to do that soon. We'd also love to see you here visiting the Springfield Museum someday. If you like astronomy, check out our website for the Stars Over Springfield event, and you might even consider joining the Springfield Stars Club. Thanks for listening.